Hello and happy Tuesday. Today I'm coming at you with the Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19.31 Hotfix. There isn't very much in this update, it's just a few quick small changes, but just trying to keep y'all updated. Uh, now for the last beta I did, if you watched it, I laid out all the information from the change log on signs like in a Minecraft world, and I went through and read them all. This update, I'm trying it a little different. I'm just going to read it right off the change log. So if you did watch the other one, let me know what you thought of the style that I used for that one. Tell me which uh, style you like more. I'm trying to switch it up a bit each time there's an update or a beta, and just figure out what way of going through it fits and works for me the best. But be sure to let me know down in the comments which way you prefer. Anyway... Minecraft 1.19.31 Hotfix on the Bedrock version. A new update is available that addresses some issues that have occurred since the release of 1.19.30. As always, we appreciate all your help and input. Please report any new bugs at bugs.mojang.com and leave your feedback at feedback.minecraft.net. Changes. As of October 5th, 2022, players on the Xbox versions of Minecraft will begin receiving an update that improves game performance alongside a few other changes. You can read more about this in our FAQ article. I'll be sure to link that down in the description if you're interested in play on a Xbox. Okay, here's the FAQ article. As of October 5th, players on the Xbox versions of Minecraft will begin receiving an update that improves game performance, alongside a few other changes. This update is rolling out in phases, and some users, such as insiders in the Omega Ring, will have received the update before October 5th. Note, it may take a few weeks for you to receive the update, so if you don't have it on October 5th, please wait a few weeks before contacting Minecraft support. What can I do to help the update process move smoothly? What can I do to help the update process move smoothly? Free up your storage disk to 90% or more. Deleting unused or duplicated worlds can help clear up some space. Whatever you do, make sure that you do not uninstall Minecraft or your data might be lost forever. What changes will I notice when updating to this new version? This update will take a little longer than previous ones as we're transferring your world files to the new game version. Note, if you're experiencing, if you're experiencing an install problem with this up, while this update is being processed, do not uninstall Minecraft, especially if you have more than 4 gigabytes of saved data. You might lose your data if you uninstall the game during this time. So guys, as you're up, if you play on the Xbox versions, and you're getting this update, just don't uninstall Minecraft. Just wait. It may take a while. Just don't risk it. You could lose everything. If your storage disk is too full, you might experience a warning before the update proceeds. When updated, you will see two versions of Minecraft in your all games view on your Xbox. Installing either version of the game will work. Once the update is done, you should experience slightly better performance. If you experience any bugs while playing, please report them through our official bug reporting tool. So that's all the information about the Xbox Minecraft performance update coming on October 5th. To all of you who play on Xbox versions. Next up, there are new mobile touch controls. So if you go under the settings tab in Minecraft and you scroll down to touch, if you play on a touch device that is, you will be able to go into those settings, and when you turn on the new interaction model, the drop-down menu will appear, allowing players to use the new touch scheme, the new crosshair scheme, or the original classic scheme. So you can test out all the new versions. If you don't like any of them, you can go back to the classic, which is just what we had before. But if you play on the mobile version, I'm sure some of these new touch controls will be to your liking, so do be sure to check them out if you play on touch. As for the fixes, they fixed several crashes that could occur during gameplay. 
So just, you know, when you're playing Minecraft and your game crashes and you go, what in the world happened? It, you know, just fixing stuff. Fixed terrain on maps getting replaced with black pixels. There's a bug report. Maps display black areas. This seems to have been around since 1.19.30, so not very long. If we just click on some of these images here, as you can see on the map, this one looks to be in a moon shape, so that looks pretty cool, but it's just blacked out. This one too, it just appears to be a black ring all the way around their base area for some odd reason. This should have been fixed in this update, so we won't be having that issue anymore. Fixed a bug that unbounded the inventory key when using the full keyboard gameplay toggle. So I guess when you were playing, you know, you're playing on a keyboard for some odd reason, your inventory button could just unbind so you couldn't open your inventory unless you went to settings and fixed it. Don't know why, it seems like a really weird bug, but it's been fixed, so that's good. And finally, fixed players sometimes spawning under the obsidian platform and falling into the void after entering an end portal for the first time after the 1.19.30 update on Realms. Very specific there, but now, no matter what, when you go into the end, you should not immediately die in the void. You should spawn on the obsidian platform, wherever it is. Let's check out the bug report. Player spawns below obsidian platform when entering the end portal. Once again, was reported in 1.19.30. Let's see if we can find a video. Okay, so here goes the player jumping into the end. And he just immediately, like, spawns and falls through the obsidian floor, so. Dude, that would suck. Could you imagine going to the end and just falling into the void instantly? Not even having a chance, just dying? That would be awful. I would really, I wouldn't want to play after that. That would be, that would suck. Very small hotfix, but nonetheless, it's very good that these hotfixes are getting put out, because it's helping improve and fix the game that we all love. If you'd watched all the way to the end of the video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed. Share it around with your friends so they can stay informed on all the latest Minecraft news as well. This has been Mr. Game and Aquatic. See you next time. Bye.